Now, <laughs> let me talk about these ratings for Wednesday. Let me repeat this. If you're one of those people that has a brain the size of a penny, and you get very upset about facts, go away right now. Because you will not be able to figure this out. So Dynamite on Wednesday did 734,000 viewers and a .29 in 18 to 49. NXT on USA did 720,000 viewers and a .21 in 18 to 49. Dynamite viewership was down 14.1% from last week. NXT was up 9.3% from last week. Combined viewership 1.454 million. There was NBA competition. It was Lakers game. And we do now have the quarter hours. Trigger warning here. What happened was AW was inaccessible on certain streaming platforms for the first 20 minutes or something of the show. I didn't even know about this till I got the numbers. So if you look at the quarter hours, the AEW 18 to 34 numbers were one-third what they normally are. So what that means is the older viewers, you will be stunned, watch the show primarily on television, this thing called the TV, okay? Younger viewers also watch it on TV, but a larger proportion of the younger viewers do, in fact, watch it on some sort of streaming, streaming service, whether I got YouTube TV, which... I guess I watched it later, so I don't know if it was a problem early, but I watch it on YouTube TV, other people, Sling TV, or whatever. So those younger viewers, what happened was a lot of them turned on AEW, and it wasn't on. It was a blank screen. So they then switched over to NXT. NXT had a big rise there. So for the first hour, this was affecting the AEW numbers, and AEW never recovered from the first 20 minutes affecting the younger viewers that normally would watch in a streaming app. Now, once 9 o'clock hit, and both shows have, had whatever viewership they were going to have, and apparently a lot of people at 9 o'clock did switch to the Lakers game, because both shows declined from that point forward. In fact, AEW declined uh, the Shaq segment with Red Velvet. That was the highest rated thing on AEW, and from there, it started to decline until the end of the show, which is probably the Lakers game. And for NXT at about 9 o'clock, it completely fell off a cliff for the rest of the show. So that's what happened on Wednesday night. I wouldn't say throw out the numbers, but I would say that if you're watching this and you have de deduced that all of a sudden everyone decided they don't like AEW anymore, you are, quite frankly, a mad person. My guess is that next week, unless there are further technical issues, AEW is probably going to do a good number for the beach show. Whatever it's called. Beach Break? Is that what it is? Beach Break, I believe. Beach yes. Break? I was chastised for calling it Beach Blast. It's a beach show, everybody. That's, it, That's pulled, it. Pulled a Jeremy Piven there. It was a summer fest. Like more people are going to watch or not watch if I call it Beach Break versus Beach Blast. Beach Balls. Or Beach Bums. Whatever I might call it. But anyway, that's what happened there. And such is life. So those are your numbers for Wednesday night. And uh, because if you're NXT or if you're somebody that now wants to, like, carry around and throw shots at AEW, I mean, uh, the one thing you can hold your – your hang your hat on is NXT was over 700,000. That's good. Just take that and, and be happy with it. Don't try to throw shots at AEW because when, you know, that test pattern was taking place during the first uh, segment of, of Monday night or Wednesday night – the bottom line is you still lost 18 to 34 to a test pattern. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.